This is a Cray XT5H supercomputer. It breaks petaflop speeds. That's super, super fast. And it's used by agencies like the NSA to break codes. I'm Detective Zach Kowalski, and today we're at the Computer Museum of America to explore how big data and forensic science collaboratively solve some of the most complex cases. In a world dominated by data, algorithms and databases are pivotal in cracking both modern and long-standing cold cases. From decoding DNA sequences that uncover a criminal's identity, to analyzing fingerprints that link suspects to crime scenes, big data is transforming the way that crimes are solved. Big data refers to vast volumes of information processed by computers to reveal patterns, trends, and associations. In forensic science, it's a game changer, providing unprecedented accuracy and efficiency in investigations. Technology has allowed us to handle complex data sets effortlessly, transforming everything from DNA analysis to digital footprints into powerful evidence. Two of the most powerful tools in the forensic arsenal are CODIS and NGI. These databases have redefined what's possible in the pursuit of justice. CODIS, or the Combined DNA Index System, matches DNA profiles from crime scenes to those in its database. The inception of CODIS can be traced back to the early 1990s, when the necessity for a national database to facilitate the matching of DNA profiles from crime scenes and convicted offenders became apparent. Originating as a pilot in 1990, CODIS was officially established under the DNA Identification Act of 1994. Now, it supports more than 190 law enforcement laboratories and extends to more than 50 countries worldwide. With ongoing expansions in database laws and federal funding, such as the DNA Fingerprint Act of 2005, CODIS continues to grow. Its foundation is structured around three levels of databases, local or LDIS, state or ESTIS, and national or ENDIS. This tiered approach allows for an efficient and comprehensive search across all levels, ensuring that matches can be identified regardless of where DNA evidence and the related individuals are located within the United States. CODIS merges forensic science with computer technology to help law enforcement agencies across federal, state, and local levels, all to exchange and compare DNA profiles electronically. This system links crime scene samples to known offenders. In addition, the database can aid to identify missing or unidentified individuals through the National DNA Index System and the National Missing Persons DNA Database. How CODIS works is essentially a testament to the power of data networking. When a new DNA sample is entered into the system, it's automatically searched against the existing profiles in the database. A match can link a suspect to a crime scene or even connect different crimes together, which is invaluable for law enforcement agencies. Once a match is established, then confirmatory comparisons are done and completed by DNA analysts in the lab. It's not until this process is completed before a match is confirmed. As of 2024, there are more than 24 million criminal profiles and 1.3 million crime scene sample profiles in CODIS. You know, I still remember my first CODIS hit. It was a burglary sample from eight years prior, and it was a single swab of blood that eventually cross-referenced and matched the burglar. That continuous cross-referencing is going on every day, waiting for new genetic markers to crack the case. Just as with DNA, fingerprints can link wrongdoers to crime scenes. The Next Generation Identification Database, or NGI, compares fingerprint data at lightning speed, revolutionizing how suspects are identified. Fingerprints have come a long way from the ink and paper beginnings, with digitization making identification precise and almost instantaneous. Since July 1999, the FBI managed the International Automated Fingerprint Identification System, also known as APHIS. This was the largest person-centric database facilitating automated fingerprint searches and electronic information exchanges. However, to address the increasing threats and capitalize on technological advancements, the FBI introduced the Next Generation Identification System, or NGI, replacing the older APHIS. First implemented in 2011, 
NGI builds on APHIS, enhancing biometric services and criminal history accuracy to meet comprehensive criminal justice needs. In addition to fingerprints, new features include expanded biometric searches, such as facial recognition and iris data. In February of 2011, the FBI introduced the first phase of NGI, making significant upgrades from the previous APHIS. This initial step involved launching the Advanced Fingerprint Identification Technology, or AFIT. This significantly enhanced the capabilities for processing and examining fingerprints and latent prints. The AFIT not only increased the precision and capacity for daily fingerprint processing, but also enhanced the overall reliability of the system. To further bolster the system's effectiveness, NGI ran on a state-of-the-art fingerprint matching algorithm. This new algorithm substantially improved the accuracy of matches, soaring from 92% to an impressive 99.6%. In 2013, the system added the capability of adding and searching palm prints as well. Today, NGI contains more than 165,641,028 fingerprints from criminal and civil repositories. Thank you so much for logging in and dialing up today as we surfed Big Data's role in solving crimes. If you enjoyed today's video, then give us a thumbs up and drop comments down below. And consider joining our curious crew and subscribing to the channel for more fun forensic content. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Computer Museum of America in Roswell, Georgia. I'm Detective Zach, Bonesworth is back at the lab, and until next time, stay curious. Oh, that? That's an Enigma machine.